All right, guys, today's the day that a lot of folks have been waiting for. We're going to do the unboxing of the Holly Terminator for the Gen 3 Hemis. Um, I've already got some of it laid out, just kind of get a little bit planned and everything, but I'm going to kind of go through what came in the kit. As you can see, right here is the part number, and then there's what it's for. They do ask you to specify what injectors you have, so it never hurts to double check that um, before you order. Uh, it was a fantastic product, guys. I'm very impressed with it. We're starting to get to the point where sensors are getting ready to go, start going in the block, and we're going to start getting to the point of uh, hooking this up as we get ready to put the engine in the car. So, let's open this up and see what we got going on here. Okay, so here is the main power harness. It's got electric fan relays, and you can see where the relay is right there. This is where it probably this is where it plugs into. This is where it plugs into the Terminator computer itself, and then all as you can see, everything is extremely well labeled: fuse, relay, TPS, IAC. I mean, everything is very well labeled. It's a very fantastic kit. So there's that. Come back to the box right here is the tuner that you used your setup and it comes it's pretty standard um, we're gonna actually hide this in the ashtray in the car so I can fold it up and flip it down as needed on the fly if you can get the box open there we go and this is part of the coil driver so this is where this is for our ignition coils and the main part of the harness is actually off to the side over there but as you can see there's the part number for it if you need to get it replaced and then just big old holly efi on the top of it there so we're going to set that right there for the moment and then there is the one for the other side. Okay. Open this up. This is the actual Terminator itself. go and there's all our plugins power and what have you so give you an idea of what this kit comes with like I said main harness there's our programmer this is part of our ignit this is the part of the ignition system that comes wired up in it by itself got comes with the o2 sensor so that it can operate and then you got your got your fuel injector plug harness and they're labeled for each cylinder so you don't hook it up backwards or any other kind of thing and then you come over here to your ignition coil harness and it's the same thing he's wired and labeled and even different colors for each cylinder like I said guys this is a pretty substantial kit give you an idea of what we're looking at I mean it takes up that one little box takes up an entire table of stuff so Guys, this is a fantastic kit. I picked it up from Holly for about $1,400, and it is supposed to be completely plug and play. We're working on mounting the Terminator and the new fuse box in the glove box itself, so they're just tucked up and out of the way, and that, and I can just drop the glove box open and see where they're at. So, I mean, if you want to get this kit, you get a hold of Holly, they get it to you super fast. I mean, guys, it is super comprehensive. I highly recommend it if you're doing a late. If you're doing a hemi swap into a late model car it's definitely definitely worth it to make it a lot easier to wire and everything instead of having to dig through and use a truck ecu i'm not knocking what diy hemi's doing those guys are fantastic they've given me a lot of tips and everything but just for ease of use for guys that are not electrically inclined like myself i am electrical is my achilles heel man you guys cannot beat this kit so make sure to go check out holly Check out their Terminator X for Gen 3 Hemis. All right, you guys have a good one. Okay, guys, next thing we're unboxing and reviewing 
is going to be the TTI Performance Exhaust Editors and their whole Hemi Swap kit that I got for my 1971 Plymouth Duster with a 2007 5.7 Hemi. Um, once again, guys, this is a pretty darn good kit, and I can't wait to show you guys what came with it. Okay, this is the Gen 3 Hemi kit. As you can see here, I went with the unfinished headers just due to the simple fact of I did not want to scratch up nice, expensive headers trying to do the install and everything else. So um, I went with unfinished. I have a gentleman close to me that is starting to do Cerakote, and he's been powder coating for years. So once we get everything figured out, I'm actually going to run these up to him and get them done. Um, they already come with the O2 sensor port, so we don't have to put one in. I'll just have to plug up this one because we only need one to run what we're running. Next up is it comes with all the mounting hard, all the hardware kit, and then the instructions. You got some, you got the collector gaskets. Comes with the collectors, ready to go. And then next we got the oil filter block off plate because you cannot run without doing some major modifications. You cannot run the filter in the factory location. And then we got a relocation kit with our Milodon pan, which I will show you guys in the next video. And then right here we have mounting hardware for the engine mounts though since we're switched from a 71 to 73 v8k member we actually had to go with a different style of mount which i talked to the people at tti and they actually knew exactly what i needed got me these and sent them on their way to me and then come over here and they came with header gaskets included so i mean guys it's a complete kit you can rock and roll knock it out and get it said and done um, what we're doing with my engine in my car which I, I know a lot of guys do is we're actually gonna put the engine and everything together on the K member out of the car and then once we get it all put together we're just gonna lift the front end of the car up and we're gonna bring it down over the top of the K member so that we have all everything already on it don't have to fight anything we just gotta lower it down so appreciate you guys watching this one I'm gonna just throw this on the end of my Terminator unboxing video, so it's going to be just a hair of a longer video. I appreciate you guys for watching. Y'all have a good day.